Hello. Paulo Coelho's novel The Alchemist was a great international success, as the novel was translated into more than 80 languages, thus entering the Guinness Book of World Records for the most translated book by a writer still alive. The events of the novel Paulo tells the story of the Andalusian shepherd Santiago, who was passionate about reading, and one day he was grazing sheep next to an old church in Spain, and he put his book under his head and went into a deep sleep. And during his dream he saw a detailed dream about a treasure buried in the desert next to the Egyptian pyramids of Giza. Santiago had watched that dream twice in a row until he realized that it was a reality. At first Santiago ignored the dream, had it not been for the fact that he met a fortune teller when he told her about his dream. She confirmed to him the existence of the treasure and asked him for part of the treasure. And the boy also met a mysterious man who told him that his name was King Salem and that he had found his own legend and that he too had to follow his own legend until the end. Shepherd Santiago Trip Santiago sold sheep and decided to travel to search for treasure. He went to Morocco, but he did not speak Arabic. And while he was sitting in a cafe, he met a person speaking Spanish. Santiago was happy because there was an interpreter and they were to leave with him. But the cafe worker tried to tell Santiago something. So his companion told him that he was a thief trying to defraud him. But unfortunately for him, his companion was one of the thieves. He seized all his money and he no longer even had the money to return to his country. Meeting the Alchemist after he seized all his money, he no longer even had the money to return to his country. And while he was wandering around the market, he noticed an old store to sell crystals. But no one frequented it, and the crystals were full of dust. So he offered the owner of the shop to clean the shop for him in exchange for feeding him. So the owner of the shop told him that the debt urges him to feed him even if he does not work for him and Santiago offered the man to work for him for a while in exchange for part of the profit the man agreed because he does not sell any of his products anyway. Thanks to Santiago, the man's trade flourished, and Santiago was able to save a large amount of money that could buy him more sheep than he had in the past. And King Salem's words about the dream prompted the young Santiago to complete the treasure hunt. And indeed he went to the caravan station and there he met an Englishman who loves alchemy and seeks to reach an alchemist who lives in the desert, and that he is going to him to teach him the origins of alchemy so that he can convert cheap metals to precious metals. And Santiago decided to go with the Englishman to learn more secrets of life, and already meets Santiago the alchemist and stays with him for a while. Santiago and the Sahara Conflicts Because of tribal conflicts in the desert, Santiago and the alchemist are arrested and accused of treason by one of the tribes. But under the guidance and encouragement of the alchemist and fearing the expected death, Santiago was able to speak to the wind and ask for its help from the rock in front of the commander, armies, and tribesmen. Fortunately for him, Santiago succeeded and impressed the commander and the audience, encouraged by the commander and ordered some soldiers to accompany them in the desert and provide them with security and protection. Treasure Finding Santiago arrived at the pyramids of Egypt and began digging with his hand in the place he saw in the dream. But a group of thieves attacked him when they found a gold piece with him. They forced him to complete the digging until he reaches the treasure. And when they did not find anything, they beat him. But before they left him, someone told him that one day he dreamed of having a treasure inside one of the old churches in Spain, and that if he were a fool, he would have traveled to Spain to search for it. Santiago knew that place it was the same place where he slept with his sheep. Santiago returned to Spain and went to the old church. He began to dig in the place described by the thief, and after an hour of digging, Santiago found a box full of old gold coins, jewels, and jeweled masks. After that long journey, Santiago achieves his legend. He achieved his dream after hardship and became a pure gold. He has learned a lot of secrets, experiences, and wisdom. And here are some wonderful quotes from this novel.